Hello, my friends. Welcome back to a blind. Well, not so blind. Uh, welcome back to our let's play the devil in me. Man, yeah, it hasn't been blind for a while. This is our fourth run now. The curative cut run. Our all brain choice run. And so far, it's been pretty interesting. To recap, in case you missed everything, we have had two deaths. Uh, we lost Aaron in the pressurized chamber. And we also lost Jamie because I'm an idiot. I I'm sorry, there's just no other way around that one. That one is just me saying, yep, I screwed up. I closed the thing too early because I heard her say close the thing. So I, of course, did what she told me to do, which was wrong because she panicked and I panicked. And when we both panicked, well, we need someone to have a calm head on their shoulders to not screw everything up. But unfortunately, that was not one of us. Why do we still have a camera? I thought a camera broke when we got captured. Didn't it? Hmm. Hope everyone is having a wonderful, fantastic day today. Oh God. What happened here? Horrible things. Horrible things indeed. Not really sure what the cause of all that blood was. I, I don't... I don't know... Um, how this playthrough is going to end out. I can say that... I have a feeling Kate is probably going to survive. And I have a feeling Charlie is not. Which means we may get an ending like we got the first time we played the game. And I agree with the dummy. That that would be kind of lame. <laughs> I mean, it would be kind of... What the hell? It would be kind of interesting in terms of um, coming full circle. Uh, you know, we had the couple ending... And then we have the couple ending again. I don't know if it's going to be the same ending though, because I think these two have a rocky relationship. Oh, shit. That's a lot easier to catch on easier difficulties. On harder difficulties, that is ridiculously hard. I also find it interesting how all three of our characters are on different paths right now. I mean, we have Charlie over here. I can make that. We have Mark over there. And we have Kate, you know, wherever Kate is. She just fell, right? She fell from the... Uh, from that one area. But I mean normally at this point you would have you would have um you would have a uh, what you call it one character with another character. And of course there would be dialogue, you know, because the two characters are together. But in this case, we're not going to have that until until we get uh, Charlie and Mark reunited. And then of course we have this scene where Charlie can die. Uh, due to the heartbeat segment. But that's not a brain choice. Or a heart choice. So that should be. Something that we can get him to survive through. And then we have the um. Then we have him crossing the beam, which is again, something he should be able to survive through. Ronnie, I'm not a complete idiot. Hello? Trying to look for clues. 
because I didn't want to try to find oh look I just noticed that for the first time the dog ran above the log did you see it go go back and rewind it you can see the dog running um above the log it's really really cool you got a five pip oval there I like how they build fake suspense here over the dog. I mean, you don't know it's fake, but not. Yeah, fucking fetch. I wish there was a way to make the dog like alien to you. Um, besides just killing it. Because you can throw a rock at it with um, Mark if you don't control Charlie. And nothing really happens from that. And it would be nice if there was a consequence that you could do to make the dog not want to help you. And the dog actually never kind of does help you. I mean, it attacks the guy on the boat, but it doesn't really do anything. So it would be cool if you had to befriend the dog and the dog saved you later. I mean, as, as I've always said, the, the biggest knockback you're going to put on a choice-based game is you want more choices. Because that's always, like, the thing you want most, right? Uh, don't punch. Oh, get away from me, Charlie. You scared the hell out of me, and you nearly killed me. Thought you were too mad. You thought what? Uh, oh, yeah. I'm so glad we're both alive. And when I say the biggest knock on a game, what I mean by that is I nearly went up in flames. If it's the biggest knock in the game, you saw it on a monitor. The, the whole place is wired. If it's the biggest knock in the game, then. Look. Safe? Then your game did well. Aaron is dead. What? Because if the only thing that you want is more of something, that means your game did well. I watched you suffer, Kate. Jesus. Aaron. Jesus. We were all separated trying to get out. Demet has the entire place rigged with traps. We followed right into his game. We have to get out of here. Get back to the ferry. Demet disabled it. We all agreed we'd head for the lighthouse if we can't signal for help. I don't suppose there's any good news. Actually, <laughs> I never thought I'd say this again. <laughs> Let there be light. Were we Charlie here? I have a feeling we were. Why can I not? There we go. I think I probably missed the clue too. Jesus. In the forest. So before I jump up top, let me just run this. Man, look at that. You know what I still remember most about water in games? It was a uh, Dragon Age Inquisition. The first time you came to this second area and you looked out over the water and you saw the uh like the waves crash against the shore i always thought that was one of the coolest moments and then the rest of the game happened and the, the reason i say the rest of the game happened is because i never beat dragon age inquisition i beat the other dragon age games but i never beat inquisition and the reason I never beat Inquisition is because of one thing. Side, quite, side quest itis. Basically, I, I did nothing but side quests. Like over and over and over and over and over again. Uh, because there's so many side quests in that game. There's so many things to do. That I just got distracted. And, and I kept like putting off the main quest because I kept doing other stuff. 
And that's not really a game's fault. It's my fault. But yet, you know, it's just a thing that happened. I bet you anything that's on the prologue. That's my guess. I just wonder if that's going to be Moose or me. <laughs> Place your bets now. Which one of us is flying into space? If you answered both of us, you'd probably be right. <laughs> Here's Monday. Childhood medical record. Let's see if I can avoid getting glitched here. Immediately turn to the right. I don't want to. I don't want that to happen again. That's a long shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy. Okay, now we can proceed. Push this off the balcony. And what does the giant light do? You know, the one that uh, Kate finds? Or whichever girl you're controlling at the time? Um, what does that giant light do for you? I still feel like there's more things in this game that I haven't unlocked. Despite playing through multiple times. <laughs> This part is pretty basic. You just gotta wait, I think. I saw Doc out here. Yeah, I did too. He scared the shit out of me. You scared him off by panicking, most likely. Most likely. Like, I find if, uh,. You look at those three things and you just run around. And won't be too much long before you hear something. I can actually see him coming. Oh, he doesn't let you. Yeah, there. Yeah, you see, we're back in this room. So even though we weren't in this room, it puts us back in here for the uh, story transition. And now we gotta keep Charlie alive here. Which really should not be an issue. But then again, I am bad at heartbeat segment. Which is a continual problem for me sometimes. Oh boy. Fuck. Quiet. Okay, here we go. Come on. Oh, I this is easy. Don't mess this up. Okay. Okay. That may seem, like I said, that may seem easy, but it's not. Oh, 
All right, so Charlie survives test number one. Test number two is a balance beam, which as long as I just go straight forward, I, I find that usually worked. By the way, I think we were marked last time because we could take pictures, right? Oh my God. What? What is he doing? He's preserving his kills. Or maybe we with Charlie. But why? Because of the beam. Because they're valuable to him. The trophies. Keep sex. Dimash sure seems to know a lot. Do you think maybe we're dealing with more than one person? What do you mean? Tending this place, the weird robots, the traps. Could it be just one man? It's one man. One very driven, very disturbed man. As so... Man. was that? He found a book by Joey, Joe Morello. All those pictures made me pay them to Island. So I found documentation on how to make crates and animatronics. Why is that part of the same Baron though? We've been in this room before. You're joking. Okay, we have been. No, we have. I don't think we've ever been in this room before, but we've. Yeah, we have been in this room before. I just don't remember pulling on that thing because I remember seeing this here. Great foreshadowing, by the way, on just multiple things. One, how you get out of this place. Two, how you, uh, get it. yeah, how you get through it. What is this? I've unlocked all these, I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen all those. All right. Gotta find my way back to the main room, which I seem to be failing all at right now. Oh, where? I need a light. I need a light. There we go. Yeah, that helped. No, don't climb on it. I need you to push it. There we go. I got we still got the light on. How, how are you holding a light and pushing this thing at the same time? Charlie, you're amazing, you know that? Okay, head to the right, because I believe there's a ring on the floor. There's a body right there. That is oh man, all the bodies. Ooh. Ah, I didn't get the glitch of time. Shots. That was really cool how we like leap through the the the, the door. All right, let's follow him down. And we just got to get through one more thing to get Charlie. 
out of this segment. Amazing how many times you can die here. You know, if Charlie did die here, though, we'd, uh... We'd be on uh, about for the, um... For the alternate ending, wouldn't we? Well, hopefully that doesn't happen because hopefully I can keep him alive. Yep. Like I said, as long as you just keep him straight and forward, it, it seems to work. They really, really want you to set up Kate and, uh, Kate and Mark. It just feels that way. Wow, nice oval. Uh, I got to turn around. Not really sure where I'm going. Fall under here. Jump over this. Is that a cave? No. I believe this is where, yeah, this is where you could get that other evidence I showed off in uh, the one playthrough. This is where you finally get confirmation on who Morello really is. Francis Morello. Because you could have faked the book. I mean, you really could have. She can't fake that. I have no idea what that is. Like I said, there's times in this game when they give you stuff to look at, but nothing pops up and you just wonder, what is this? Let's try to head to the uh, side house if I can. Did I get to turn around? Shoot. I missed it. Um. Through here? Yeah, it's through here. Okay. Like, yeah, I need someone to like try to explain to me what this whole area is for. You get a better light, but what does that do for you specifically? What is the point of going this direction? How does going this direction help in some way? Cause I don't know if there's any clues here. There's a key. Could be mistaken. There could be something in here. I mean, this entire section could be easily missed, like very easily, because you just go straight to the house and boom, you're there. That's Morello's wife. No, that's... 
Oh, that is... That's not Morello's wife, that's Morello. But why is he here? I mean, he was killed on the boat. Because we know how the killer works. Is this a special type of white? I was thinking maybe it was a black white or something. I mean, it is an awesome white. Don't get me wrong. I wish I had a light like this like the entire game. I wish it was like a way for you to buy secret unlockables that you could use in replays. And I wish there was a way to make it so that you could have this light the entire game. Uh, because there are some really dark areas in this game and this light is amazing but again why 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 does this light matter but i do love the light the light is great Gotta go through here. Then we head to the house. Then we don't kill Connie. There's no reason to kill Connie. That's something I don't want to do again. And that's something that I don't need to do again. Because we do not need to kill Connie. Anything else around here? Park. Right. Click. And nothing over here. All right. Hello. You can hear the dog, but can't see much else. Reminds me of the quarry. When you're going around, you can look at the uh, inside of the windows. <laughs> Something wicked this way comes. Like I said here, our job here is not to kill the dog. Easy boy. God, this scene is so stressful. It really is. It's like... Oh. Great fake out scene there. Oh, 
I love that fake out scene. That is, that is very well done. We are not in, uh, basically in game. I believe so, at least. Do you think they're here? We need to find a way in. What if they didn't make it? One thing at a time. Aaron's not here, unfortunately. So we don't get this scene there. Let's get inside. And normally we're marked for this. Let's trust me, I've climbed up that lighthouse enough to know that it's marked that does it. And we're still marked. Really sure, Charlie. At least his light is a little bit better. This red light is just annoying. Probably the worst light in the game. I mean, you can flash it to make everything go big, but then you have the uh, the flash, and you're just like, ah. At zero six hundred hours, I, Officer Frank Hooper, discovered that one or multiple individuals. That's all the aliases. Oh, let's see. Don't need that. Already picked up all those. I only need to do that one playthrough. Here's his degree of what, psychology. Hector Waylon London. Basically want to try to better understand uh, the criminal mind or maybe just H.H. H. Holmes's mind. There's a boat key. Looks like there may be another boat on the island. Although it's weird because you get that key no matter what happens, and we've tested that. I got Jennifer Edwards. So what, these are the people he conned out of selling it to him? Crap. Oh, the closet's open. I haven't noticed the closet being open before. Of course, that's where our market stuff in the, uh, Alternate uh, end route. My name being born. And uh, yeah, this is this is fun. Son of a bitch. Give me a dog any day. <sighs> yeah. Just a stupid cat. <laughs> it's that again. It's this way, right? Yeah, it's right here. All right, going up. Turn around somehow. Turn around. No, 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 no. You're going the wrong way. There you go. There you go. Up this way. Good, good, good. Like I said, I hate this light. When you flash it, you can actually see things, but you gotta keep flashing and it's just, uh, I hate this light. I want in the future game, if you're gonna have like heads up displays, like on your, um, you know, because you're gonna have better technology, hopefully in the future. 
I, I also hope that uh, the, the next episode ties um, House of Ashes into it as well. Because we know that House of Ashes uh, uh, monsters were aliens. Tampering with the seal is and it would be cool if we like could see some of that at play. Okay, now, let me do something which I always seem to forget. I don't know why, but I always seem to forget this. Hit the button, flightless bird. I can't tell you how many times I've gone down to the bottom of the lighthouse and then realized um, nothing's happening because I forgot to hit the button. It has happened time and time and time again. Ow! Beautiful light. I mean, that picture right there is gorgeous. I know I just took a little bit of spits out of it, but have we ever have we done this before? What happens if I fail these? Can Mark die here? I have to I have to test it out. I, I really have to test this out. dead no he's not dead okay are you okay like I said I just had to oh nice shot Charlie maybe he could die if uh, there's enough people alive I'm not sure about that one. What about Jamie? He got her. I'm sorry. Or, oh I bet you anything, that's how you get the alternate ending. If you're in the courier cut, you basically lose that and you get choked out, and then he drags you into the uh, the the cabinet and then takes your clothes. So I bet you anything, that's what that was for. But because Charlie is alive. The, uh, the other scene didn't activate, which means Kate came in and rescued us. I, I like how there's all these like checks in the game that says, uh, did you do this? Did you do this? Did you do this? This is one of the tragic things. There's nothing. You have no influence over what happens on this part, unfortunately. What the hell? Oh. 
But I don't get it. If that's Monday's, I'm sorry, if that's Charlie's body, how was it? No talking. If that was Marlo's body, not Charlie. If that was Marlo's body, how did we find Marlo's body in the shed? Don't shoot, okay? Until I know what's happening here, no one moves. We didn't do anything. He's trying to kill us. You'll have a chance to tell your story. Poor guy. So she told us to grab the gun. And we can grab which is the brain or run which is the heart. So we're gonna grab. Go ahead and pass this. So as we get to the uh, the ending here, which is basically quick scene after quick scene, this should work. or cutscene after cutscene, uh, I do want to say that I don't want to have the same ending that we've had before. Starter cord. Which means one of two things needs to happen: either Mark needs to die, or Kate needs to die. Work, damn it! Or hey, Connie, could you see a boy? Come on. Both need to die. Right? Just work. I think it would be interesting to see if there's a scene between um Charlie and uh Kate. I think that's the one that I'd be most interested in. As far as you know what happens here so that's the one that I'm going to try to steer towards if I have the choice I think there's a scene where we can help mark or not help mark and um, when that happens we can just say peace out <laughs> we made it thank God it's over not all of us The dog survives no matter what. Oh, so Charlie is instantly off the boat. Okay. Okay, we're gonna survive this early sequence here. Cause like I said, I think there's a scene where we can help Mark or not help Mark. Darn it, the attack is the brain. Ah, shoot. No! Happens if you don't succeed in the attack, though. Oh, he dies horribly. Okay. That's what happens. Well, I, I did the brain choice, though.
I think I should just like abandon ship. And then he looks back and he's like, oh no. Alright, well, we got the ending that I was kind of hoping for to see what we could, uh, to see, um, if there's any difference in this scene here. Because I would like to see Charlie talk if to Kate. To put a smile on your face, I don't know what will. And I don't know if there's cross interactions. It seems like it's programmed where Kate can only interact with Mark, and Eric can only interact with Jamie, and Charlie only interacts with the, uh, the guy giving the smokes. I'm hoping there's more, you know, in between there. And I looked up, and there they were just in the middle of the flipping road, waving their hands and arms like a bunch of crazy. And where are you coming in from? Uh, Fort Wayne. Been driving since 3 a.m. Early start. Well, I was trying to get into the port by 8. Probably not going to make that now, am I? I'd say likely not. Really, they're not gonna talk to each other? Oh, that's that's kind of a disappointment. Need a smoke, buddy. Yeah, it seems like it only works. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, it only I works between if Charlie is alive or those two are alive or the other two are alive. kind of a limited ending scenario though I hope they expand upon that more in the future because I mean out of like everyone in the cast these two did have the most fire between them and for her and him not to talk or not to maybe you know build a relationship out of this saying hey look we've lost so much everything we've done is petty um I'm sorry or you know mention something like that it would have been nice to have to have more of those alternative ending ideas if that makes sense He's crossing off all the aliases, but he doesn't cross up to men, and he doesn't want to cross up to men. And then everything goes crazy. An interesting theory uh, come by. Sorry, I forgot which one. I forgot who said this, but they said basically, um, I'd rather than think of him as death, he's a ferryman. And what's interesting about that comment is, in the game, Dumet wants a ferryman. So to think of him as a ferryman is really interesting. Cade. Cade is the one who said that. I, I like that theory, Cade. Oh, it's really interesting. You're here. Maybe there's different All good things must come to an end. Different people but who bring people to death. For our crew. Unfortunately, you lost a few of them. So rest in peace. Mark. Loyal to the final frame. There's some studio space going spare in Brooklyn, if anyone's interested. Erin. The new girl surprised everyone with her courage, but now she's gone to the great audio suite in the sky. And Jamie. The plug's been pulled and the lights are out. I don't think rewiring the fuse is going to help this time around. What about those who survived? Has the experience changed them? Kate had a secret. She was traumatized by something that happened a long time ago, but she faced the thing she was most afraid of in the whole world and survived. And Charlie finally understood that leadership 
is more than ordering the team around. He had to treat them as equals and let them take the lead when the time was right. Yeah, and still two people died. I'll tackle the paperwork in the morning. Can you find your own way out? It was, as always, enlightening. I have no doubt we'll meet again in the future. Farewell. And the cycle continues. The chain of events are still unclear at this point in time. What we can confirm is that a little after 7.30, a truck driver was flagged down to render aid. The police were called and quickly arrived on scene. The survivors are part of a film crew, Lonnet Entertainment, the team behind the Architects of Murder docuseries. Fuck, man. It seems like as though they got a little too close to their subject material. And some of them, sadly, did not survive. Thankfully, their ordeal is now at an end. Holy shit. Remember how my video went viral? How could we forget? You bring it up every chance you get. Just listen to this. I got enough views to win a competition. What did you win? An all-expense pay trip to an island resort for five. Now I'm interested. Yeah, Mr. Dumet. Maybe one of these days I'll get like enough to go viral to get an all-expense pay trip to an so island with four of my friends. Oh, wait a second. That would be a really bad idea. <laughs> Hey, Moose and um, company, you want to join me on a private trip to an island where uh, this guy tries to kill us the entire time? Yeah, that sounds like fun. <laughs> well, since this is our final run, go ahead and leave the quartet in. And then we'll come back and uh, look at the dioramas. Uh, see if we can unlock them all. And that's what we'll call it a... Uh, End of the playthrough. But before we get there, I do want to say thank you to our wonderful, amazing Patreon, Chinook 3 t and Techno Trouble. If you would like to uh, support the channel in that way, uh, links are in the description below. And as always, I can't say how appreciative I am of just any support that you provide. The number one YouTube community and all of YouTube you are. To get your soul and leave your body and leave it cold To drop the flesh from on your frame The earth and worm both have their claim I said oh death Oh death Won't you spare me over to another Now death, now death, now if this death, is true, death. please give me time to reason with you. From time to time you heard and saw, so I'll close your eyes and I'll lock your jaw. I'll lock your jaw so you can talk, I'll fix your feet so you can walk. Dim your eyes so you can see this very hour. Now come with me, I said. Oh, death, oh, death, won't you spare me over to another year? I said.
Now death, now death, please give me time to fix my heart and change my mind. Mm-hmm. Your heart is fixed, your mind is broad. I'll have your shackles to drag you down. Too late, too late to all farewell. My dawn is fixed, I'm summoned to My poor soul shall burn in hell. I said, oh, death, oh, death, won't you spare me over to another year? I said, oh, death, oh, death, won't you spare me over to another Okay, so let's see if we've earned enough to purchase all our dioramas. Kate Wilder. Mark Nestor. Charlie Monnet. Aaron Keenan. Jamie Tiergan. Tiny the Dog. Brandon Dumet. Amy Howard Holmes. Honey Mooners. Intimate. Frenemies, dinner, booked, ugh, man, that was horrible, anchored, oh, man, look at that one, surgery, yikes, yikes, oh, my God, jeez, Ultimatum. Forced. Chopped. Broken. Oh, look at that one. Oh, it's great. Fortunately, we don't have enough to lock all of them. Darn. Um, let's get the reanimated. Let's get the corpse here. Freaky. Reanimate corpse of Manny Sherman. That is freaky as can be. And um we'll get the mother. Yeah, we're uh we didn't get all the dioramas unlocked. Looks like we're short by about 20 coins. Maybe on my uh ruthless runs if I actually picked up the money. Maybe I'll do that in the next game. Make sure I do that on the, the next playthroughs. But anyway, I love you all so very much. Thank you for everything. I hope you enjoyed our many runs through the devil in me. I'm sure there's still stuff we missed. Matter of fact, I know there's stuff that we still missed. But, you know, after four runs, uh, this is it. And this is the end to this wonderful, amazing game. I had a ton of fun. Once again, I want to thank everyone who has supported this playthrough. also want to give a huge thank you to Moose Gaming. For allowing me to do a co-op run with him. And once again, if you haven't checked out Moose, go ahead and do so. Uh, he's amazing. He's wonderful. And I love just hanging out with him. He's a great guy. He's someone you would enjoy watching. For next, uh, what is next? I don't know. I still haven't decided what's next. I think I want to try to do some of this stuff. To finish some stuff before we resume other things. And, of course, what I mean, I mean Space Quest 5 and Space Quest 6. I also want to finish uh, Silent Hill, uh, Shattered Memories, and Downpour. Because we still have those four games to play. Um, and then once we play those, we can open it up a bit more. We can do the other same and Maxes. We could do Grim Fandango. Uh, maybe The Walking Dead. Um... There's there's a lot that 
we will have the opportunity to do. Um, and I have your recommendations uh, saved on my computer of things that you have said that you would like to see in the future. So don't worry, I have that recorded and I will be getting to them when I am able to get to them. Uh, but for now, I do want to try to work on the character ranking list of season one. Although what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to play Space Quest 5, play through Space Quest 5, and then at the end of Space Quest 5, hopefully release the ranking video then, and then start Silent Hill, and then um, maybe do um, a game like Hidden Agenda, because I heard Hidden Agenda is not that long, um, and that will like carry us over into Space Quest 6, and then maybe the, the next Silent Hill. And then after that, we'll be much more open to do things like uh, As Dust Falls, um, Crim Fandango, the other Sam and Maxes. Uh, yeah. Um, right now, I kind of want to take care of the stuff that we're already playing, if that makes any sense at all. Thank you for everything, my dear friends. You are the number one YouTube community, all of YouTube. And I so appreciate you very, very much. Until next time, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.